All right, you make it about another quarter mile down the trail. Okay. And in the distance, you see an extremely large tree, larger than all the other ones that you've seen so far in the, the jungle sl slash swamp. And uh, around that tree is the uh, tattered, weather weathered remains of a very large tent. Uh, can, any way of telling how long it's been out there? I uh, boo, boo, boo. Tell us right. check for work. Okay. Would a praise help? <laughs> uh, yeah, that we can do that instead too. All right. Wow, I'm starting this strong. <laughs> uh, really you can tell from the looks of it that it was. Uh, <laughs> there's a pretty finely made tent. And given the state of disrepair, it's probably been several years. Okay. And with that role, I probably know like the the chain of people who bought and sold it, and you know the the, Shit, the stock market. The <laughs> yeah, fucking everything that's included on the tag. <laughs> Washing instructions. Fucking. Do not tumble dry. <laughs> <laughs> Never tumble dry. <laughs> All right. Um... All right. It. It sits barely off the path, so you have to come pretty close when you walk towards it. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and look around before I approach. And by I approach, I mean Cahoon. <laughs> Alright. You roll uh, Perception if you want. Yeah, I just rolled it. Oh, yay. God, he's perceptive as well. Holy shit. Nope, he's not. <laughs> He, uh, well, he took the, uh, what you call it? The uh, DM's skill. gift for fucking... Yeah, yeah, skills, yeah. I took feats. Alright. Yep. You, uh, get a little closer to the tent, and over the, the normal, you know, filth and, and rot of a smell of the swamp, you can smell the, smell very cheap perfume... On the, the sides of the trees, you see uh, painted faces in different states of joy and sorrow and agony. Hmm. I think it's Shavuki's retirement. Uh, I was about to ask if Ragnar's been here before and been drawing shit. <laughs> um, oh, here we are. Oh, wow, that sounds pleasant. <laughs> this the, is not... the red box you see is your... What you call it? My starting location? <laughs> your deployment zone, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got this. This is when we learn the entire tree is the enemy. Fucking tramp, man. The, the, the tent is its skirt. <laughs> All right. So as you get even closer, you hear the uh, the incessant buzzing of flies, and you see uh, carpets of what looks like writhing black insects crawling all over, mostly rotten limbs and other pieces of body, hunched over. In the midst of all that mess are three uh, humanoid-looking thingies wearing looks like what looks like you know fancy dresses that have been shredded to tatters. <laughs> uh, they they look up as you approach and uh, see their next meal. Got it. Uh, do you want me to do nature if I want to identify these things with my Pokédex? Uh, la, la, la. yeah, sure, that'd work. All right, I will use nature. 18. Now, are they underneath the tent, or, I mean... Yeah, they're hanging out under the tent. Where, where else would whores be? Out in the wild? Cool. All right, uh, from the looks of them, you'd say these things are definitely undead. Gotcha. 
probably uh, they move a little too too quick to be zombies. Not exactly skeletons, but uh, probably awesome. somewhere in the neighborhood of ghoul. Ghouls, yeah. Um, with long tongues, apparently. Shit. <laughs> in his discerning of what the tent was way back a minute ago, did we decide what the uh, material of its uh, tent was? Uh, probably just regular canvas. Human flesh. Hope you guys can pull you awake, because guess what can't be put to sleep? <laughs> yeah, good times. <laughs> good times. <laughs> Fucking had by all. All right. Cool. Martha's up first. <laughs> All right. Outside one range, range increment. Pew. User joined your channel. I will rape you, Brian. Too late. <laughs> With took, took all your took 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 all your stuff. I will hold on to fucking Dustin's dick and rape you with his dick. I mean, from the looks of it all, he just logged in on his phone, so he can't do anything. <laughs> he can't do anything. So I guess I'll just go. I'll just go so, to the equipment and start subtracting GP. <laughs> Marcus comes up, fires, hits the one fucking ghoul. Got it. Staggers. End of his turn. Fancy. Goes to Ragnar. Oh, wait a minute. Are we fighting something? Yeah. Ragnar, go. Alright. I will... Um, move up to the closest one. Well, I mean... You move your token. Duty, duty. <laughs> I ain't your bitch. Move your shit. And I will, uh, hit her with my rapier. Poker. Well, well, there you go. You heard it here first. He's in the necrophilia. <laughs> you successfully poke a whole lot of air. Well, damn. The air was not impressed. All right. All right. Cahoon's turn. Brian, don't Be make you fucking don't them. make me miss. You know, I think I'll just go right, you know, right in the middle of all of these ghouls. <laughs> Maximum amount of fucking diseases. Go. All right. Yeah, we're going here. Boop. And then I'll attack the one that's been shot with this new hotkey I've made called Cahoon Sucks. Look at that. It, it It's successful. Cocoon <laughs> sucks. <laughs> nice. Alright, Cocoon fucking chops his head off. Yep. You don't even need to show up, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I guess I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, those two charge. Else gonna need to open up saving throws. The first one missed terribly. Okay. The second one hits. Uh, Cahoon take three damage, and I need two fortitude saves. Two of them. Okay. Doskis. One and two. All right. Three damage. Yep, three damage. Got it. Okay. All right. Sure. That's me. All right. Oh, that's too far. Okay, I can go there. All right, I'm going to move here. Um, as a swift action, I will extend the boarding pike of awesome, and I'll go ahead and attack. Uh, the one that's directly south of Cahoon. All right, B. Yeah. Can you see those names? I I don't. I actually don't see the. Uh, yeah. If you put if those names don't show up. <laughs> oh, they don't. No, they don't. They Hold can help on. you keep track, but that's about it. I 
think maybe we can see him if we have control over him, but I don't even remember. <laughs> but in any case, I'll attack that one with the boarding pike. What about now? Uh, yeah, I see C. Okay, I just have to set in the advanced tab. Okay, gotcha. That's good to know, because I need to know that. <laughs> Boop, there you go. Alright, so AC 19, 7 damage to this one here. With Extendo Pike. Wow. Alright. Raziel? Move there since I can't get any closer. It's about all I'm gonna do this turn. All right. yeah, my birds are gonna stay out of it for now. <laughs> March <three> reloads. <laughs> Ragnar. Take a five foot step and uh, teabag that one. <laughs> all right, make a four two save. <laughs> want to stick? Do you want to stick your dick in that? <laughs> You want to attack C or B? <laughs> I'll re-roll that. <laughs> I was just joking, man. Yeah, really yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> he's, he's just... But I mean, that is pretty he's, impressive fail. Yeah, <laughs> it's still pretty funny. <laughs> so now there's two people with no dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you successfully teabag the ghoul in the mouth. You get fucking paralysis and disease. Good job. Just falls right <laughs> off. Rots right. <laughs> Alright, I'll attack the one that Brian already attacked. Alright, so that's All B. Right. There you go. Alright, Cahoon's turn. Uh, Cahoon will go down one and attack. Uh, no crit confirm, but it does hit. All right. Not too bad. I'm going to unleash the fury of this against Kahoom. All right. Rob, i attempt to and fail miserably. Got it. Also, this it might... Whole... Also it might leads that I'm pretty much trying to, like, bite him and claw him at the same time. He's just able to just hold her off with the shield. Gotcha. Also, this token forgot to have um, ward on it, so I'm just going to update my AC. Not that that matters. <laughs> Alright. Okay. For sure. Goes to my turn, and I'm still within Extendo Pike range, so I'll go ahead and attack that one. Uh... No crit confirmed, but wow, look at that crit damage. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that would be pretty, pretty beastly. God, I Double forgot. eights? Holy shit. Yeah, I forgot. How much get... you uh, Only eight, but it, it was a, it was a, it was a um, natural 20, so the crit confirmed showed the crit damage being like 20 damage, because freaking pikes have like times three or something. Yeah, you rolled eight, eight, and your strength then. Yeah, the strength plus uh, the plus one, yeah. All right, all the ghouls are dead. Not bad. Again, or deader, undeaded. Dustin didn't do a thing. <laughs> of course not. Besides, waste a bullet <laughs> and blasting powder. <laughs> I shot that one for pretty decent damage. Oh yeah, that's right. He did hit. Like I'm so used I to him missing every does. time. <laughs> no, no. I guess oh. I should just play his character from now on. <laughs> I, I didn't get to do anything. I was too far away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to waste any spells, so there's that. <laughs> True. All right. I'll retract the the pike, and uh, I guess we'll do some searching around. See what's around. Uh, I don't think there's an investigate skill anymore, is it? It's just all perception. Yeah, perception covers everything. Nope, doesn't cover that. <laughs> Cover seeing a bunch of dicks. Yeah, but like the one that brought it off of uh, of Ragnar. All right, can I do perception also? No, you're in a car. Go the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> oh God damn it! <laughs> Don't worry. Don't you have some children to drive over? Don't worry, Cahoon. I rolled for you. You jammed um, 
you jammed some dicks in your eye, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Here you go, I gave you a major little handout there so you can put up your pre prepared spells. That way I can track what you what you've got. Oh, okay. Fancies. I know the sheets have little things so you can prepare them, but I ain't got time to be sorting through all that shit. That's fine, neither do I. This makes it much easier, because I can just delete them from here and I don't have to worry about it. Good shit. I don't think... Alright, let's see. I don't think Spiff has anything. Jesus Christ, y'all some non-perceiving fuckers. Alright, hold on. We're blinded by yeah, our glorious battle. <laughs> Talk about the rest of these fags. Hey. Actually, to be fair, I rolled Kahoot an 11. Kahoot in Fucking Kahoot and Nashira fucking rolled exactly the, the same. same. <laughs> it was like the same person rolled it. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> you don't say. Freaking Spiff rolled the same roll. <laughs> All right. So you spent about uh, 20 minutes sifting through this place. And you come up with... Uh, Fucking Spiff got the same exact roll too, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, you come up with uh, one vial with a blue liquid in it. Three uh, pretty sharp daggers. Uh, the the hip flask that the that the vial is in is very high quality. Has a little engraving or embossing of a crocodile on it. Fancy. And there's a rather large chest. <laughs> the uh, looks the like lock it. looks like it's pretty uh, pretty rotted through, though. You might be able to break it open pretty easy. Okay. Would it be possible to try to pick it? Uh, yeah, sure. Does that work for you? As far as what you want for the spells? Alright, I'll... Well, first I'll check the chest, um, and see if I'll do the usual roguey stuff. Yep, that works for me. Doesn't exist. 25, are there any traps <laughs> that I can detect? No. Okay, and then finesse. Well, while he's doing that, can I cast detect magical aura on the daggers? See if there's anything special about them, or detect magic on them. Yeah, sure. Nothing special about that. Uh, okay. All right, your second roll is trying to pick the lock. Yeah, um, I actually get plus two because I'm using master orc, so that'll be a twenty. All right, you managed to pick them. Okay. Yay. That's pretty pretty fucked up. You probably could have just grabbed the lock and pulled it off. Probably. Maybe. Fell off. <laughs> but I want to feel but important. I, I got you. You got those tools. You might as well use them, right? Right. All right. Inside you find dead bodies. Just dead bodies? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Jackpot. There is uh, Cahoon's penis. <laughs> six flasks of uh, clearish jelly consistency liquid. Uh, let's see, a wedding dress with pearls and three small rubies. Uh, three pearls and what? With pearls and three small rubies. Oh, gotcha. They're sewn into the dress. It's all part of the dress. Gotcha. Uh, there's a corset made of whalebone with um, mother of pearl inlays. A dozen silver hair hairpins, with uh, each has a tiny obsidian on it. Damn. And a uh, couple of rotted through bags that have a, a scattering of gems. Okay. Obsidian inlaid. <laughs> also sitting to one side is a, or off to the side behind that chest, are two barrels. Uh, probably not not like full size barrels, but like mini keg size. Right. Uh, it's 
pretty clear once you get close enough to them that they're the source of the smell of cheap perfume. Oh, gotcha. Perfume. Okay. Um, so, silver hair pans with obsidian inlaid. Uh, corsets. Uh, what was the corset? It was like whale something? Whale, whale bone. bone. Whale bone. Okay. That was the only part I missed. <laughs> Okay. Um, could I do alchemy to try to figure out the flask? Yes. All right. Craft alchemy. I rolled a one. I still got a 16. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's alchemist fire. Okay. I didn't know that stuff was clear. I always assumed it was red. <laughs> like fire. I, I mean, it, I, to me, it's always like napalm, so I gave it that. Well, I guess na napalm's kind of pinkish, but. Right, right. No worries. Six alchemist fires. Got it. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, and there was some, you mentioned something about a smattering of gems. Was that anything worth salvaging? <laughs> oh yeah, no, they're they're definitely precious, precious gems. Okay. There's just a, a handful of assortment. Okay, I'll just set a handful of gems. Of gems. Okay. Uh, and so were, uh, these three ghouls were just eating a body here, or just camping out here, essentially. Yeah, looks okay. like this is. Looks, it looks like, it's... like they 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 may have been, you know, women, and this was their their abode for some time. Right. And then they became undead. Good for them. Good to have goals. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and. Is there. What's tracking go? What's the finding tracks fall under? Is that survival or is that perception? That's survival. All right. I'm just going to see if there's any fresh tracks besides the ghouls. Nope. Wow. At least I'm getting my ones out of the way. Holy shit. Yeah. No, <laughs> the ground is definitely too soft for you to. Okay. To really see anything. I've rolled four ones in the past. <laughs> A few rolls. Holy shit. All right. Um, I think that's pretty much it for here, unless you guys uh, find anything else. 